Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the Rockstar Flipper YouTube channel. And for those of you that don't know, I've been in eBay jail, eBay timeout for the last four days, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and today, Tuesday. I got three more, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. I'll be allowed to list again on Saturday morning, I guess, Saturday afternoon, I don't know, sometime Saturday. Hopefully it isn't all day Saturday and I can't list till Sunday, that would suck. Um, but we were still allowed to sell. So over the last four days, we've had some pretty up and down sales, but I'm now seeing that it's crashing as my items are ending and I can't relist them and I can't list new items, so we're going downhill. So the myth of whether listing every day makes a difference is absolutely true if you're not listing, not putting up new stuff, not selling similar or relisting or whatever you do, uh, your store will, you can go from 300 a day down to 90 a day, so, um, or nothing for that matter. So I am in a little bit of an eBay timeout still, but I'll show you guys just a quick peek at some of the items we were able to sell while we couldn't list. All right, so I'm gonna start off this what's sold with my favorite items, the neckties. We had a guy who bought three of them together. This first one is a doctor's tie. It sold for $9. Uh, anything with this kind of like doctor, uh, you know, professional type items will sell. Um, doctors do tend to wear neckties, so they will buy these things. So anything medical you can really get. The guy that bought three of them, these are the three he bought. This was an Asian elephant one, five twenty-five. dollars uh, Nature's Conservatory one, uh, kangaroo one, uh, took a best offer of seven fifty dollars on that one. Um, so that was 13 or 1275. And then this last one he bought was this plaid looking wool tie for 675. So did about $20 on that guy. These ties probably cost me about a buck for all three of them. Um, so 19 profit, less fees and shipping about 13, $14. So that's where it adds up. Um, go ahead and close these ones out. Next is the Mickey Mouse tie. Paid a dollar for this, sold it for 1050. Not, you know, again, these are not going to be home runs but just things that you don't have a lot of cost in that you can sell for decent margin. All right, sold a bunch of jeans. Uh, we sold one set of jeans to a lady. I think she bought six pair or maybe seven pair, um, and she paid around like 80 some dollars for them, $89, I think. Uh, these were not in her purchase. These were separate. These were Earl jeans. Um, these are a plus size pair of jeans. Uh, Earl jeans typically are plus size. These sold for 20, 25. Um, Kim Kardashian collection. These we took a best offer on for 16, so they didn't do quite as well, but still not bad. Lane Bryant, again, plus size. These were really big. These were cropped, $21.75. The silver jeans for men are not doing as well as before. We took a best offer on these for like 16 or 17. The Wranglers sold for full price for 21. I don't sell a lot of Wranglers. These just happen to be in one of the bulk lots I bought, $21. So, Doing pretty good on the jeans. We sold a couple hundred dollars worth of jeans. Even being in eBay jail, you can still sell and uh, do pretty well. We had a $200 day, uh, you know, the first day we were in jail, so not bad. Uh, Britain Biddle shirt, just sold this one uh, tonight, $14.99. We took a best offer of $14 on it. Paid like a dollar or two dollars for it. Um, Nike golf shorts, these were new with tag. They were $22 plus six shipping, but we took a best offer on them for $17, so the total was $23 with shipping. Uh, they were new with tags, though, so 23 with tags. Not bad for a pair of shorts. The Masters hat sold full price 17 with free shipping. Uh, this thing was probably about a buck in cost. Vintage authentic Zach Thomas Miami Dolphins jersey. Took a best offer on this one for $22.50. Um, paid about $3 for that, so $19.50. Less fees and shipping, about 13 profit. More of the shoes that we sold. This one was $24 plus $6.99 shipping, so it was $31, $30.99. Um, and these are about a $3 to $4 purchase. And finally, the Kenzie ankle boots. These sold for $19.50 with six shipping, so they were $25.50, uh, $3 purchase as well. So $22.50, they cost $8 to ship, was $14.50, less the fees was $10 in profit on these as well. So shoes like these with leather, they do well. These ones had, you guys can see some wear on them, so they're not going to be perfect. You can see the, you know, the worn down leather uh, tips and toes on these. But these half ankle boots with, uh, you know, zip up sides, if these had been in better condition, 
probably would have went from selling for twenty five fifty or around like thirty two thirty four, and we would have made about fifteen to twenty dollars on them. But still good. Make sure you guys get the shoes up. Anyways, that's a little bit of what's sold. Even though we are in eBay jail, we'll be out Saturday. We'll get a ton of stuff listed, and hopefully we'll be back to normal then. So thanks everyone for being concerned about us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you leave comments, likes, anything that you sold this week. I'd love to hear about it in the comment section. And until next time, I'll see you then.